Hello world, PDR coming at you here with a 2005 Subaru Outback. Uh, a real nice car for a real nice guy, but um, it's got a collision dent. I think this thing went all the way down, judging by the scratches, the side of the car. There's a little bit of dented area here, but obviously we're talking about the dent that starts down here, goes all the way through this thing, if we analyze this dent, and actually goes up to about here. It has some weird brows, a little scuff right there. I buffed out some of the scuffs. I got this plastic panel kind of released out. I can just, you know, if I need to give myself some more room, I can pull it down a little bit more. Subarus are real nice like that. So what I want to do is start by, most likely, well, start by saying, I sure do appreciate everybody that clicks on this video. I really do. That's, that's the most important thing. We, you know, we do this for entertainment purposes, but we're not doing this for, uh, you know, to prove anything or to show how cool we are. We're just trying to help and show anybody, you know, maybe a DIY wire, maybe another tech, what, what you're gonna do to get a dent like this out. Uh, now this is collision, obviously. Hopefully you guys can hear us okay. I've got the microphone on, I've got the meditation music going. The reason why I put this tape here is we are out here in the elements, it's pretty cold, and I'm gonna warm this panel up and I don't have a, a heat gun plug. I don't have a plug that I can plug into. So I'm gonna end up doing this. And this, uh, I've done it on a few videos and I've done it many, many times over the years. But uh, I would never ever suggest anybody taking a torch to paint unless you know exactly what you're doing with it. Um, I'm very fortunate that I have never burnt paint. But see, if, it, if you see what I'm doing here, when you hit something that's really cold and you see that foggy, well, then you know you're in the right spot, get it warm and then keep on touching it and only give it like one half of a second worth of a flaring of that. So what I'm gonna end up doing, guys, is I think spending some time on this one, getting it really warm, tapping down this brow right here while giving it a slight tug, maybe even have my uh, squishy back here. You, you notice that this flange is going you see this flange right here? It's going down. Well, it's got to go flat, just like all the rest of them. So I've got to basically get that flange folded back up while pulling on this. Get this right on in here. And I don't want to just go in here and make pushes because that would be really bad. I want to kind of get some tension on that and break the tension down as as I'm keeping it warm, might even want to grab my R32 cherry tip right here and cherry tip some of this high brow out. Might even want to get it really warm and put my hands behind here and give it a nice yank. Um, but either way, before we do that, we're going to get it nice and warm. We're going to take the tension out of this metal and uh, I'm probably going to have some more of my coffee here. And uh, it looks like a big dent. I planned about two hours for this in total. And um, guys, I don't plan for this one to come out 100%. I plan for this one to come out looking good. You know what I mean? The difference between this smashed in fender and a non-smashed in fender. And yes, I probably will take the time and uh, do a little bit of this work right here because I can just stick my number one tool right up underneath it. And I'm all over that fender. All I got to do is put my board on the other side and I'll see where I'm at. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll transition into some speedy, some other type of work. Uh, but other than that, we will definitely come back to you and show more of the process and how we get this dent looking good in just a bit. Okay guys, we're back. Um, we got a lot of this body line out. And you can see it's really wavy. I didn't crack any paint yet, <laughs> yet. Hopefully never, right? Keeping it real warm with the torch. And uh, there's this big high brow, got a lot of it out. It wants to push, it goes all the way into back here. And I was even back here, I grabbed my number one, sneak on back to that little area and try to get some of that out because that's holding this dent in a little bit. And, uh, that's a pretty severe little area. Did a lot for it. I made some weird pushes over here. 
I was thinking I was gonna actually move this metal, but I didn't. So we're gonna tap these down. Um, I thought I'd just bring you guys in for a medium to, uh, you know, almost to that finish work point. I mean, once I get these things all flattened down and this line nice and straight, I'm gonna be doing finish work. But uh, right now we got some brows still. We're just going through and taking out the brows, releasing that tension. And like I always say, take it real slow, guys. This is, uh, this is a large dent. It's a collision-style dent. It's uh, one of the highest level difficulties. You can it's an eater. And, and so I'm just trying to get it warm. And like I say, this torch method, I wouldn't suggest to anybody unless they are very familiar with uh, putting a straight torch on paint. And I wouldn't say it's super warm either. Just getting it up to about that 90 or 95, just under 100 mark. It's still cold to the touch. Not even cold to the touch, just slightly warm to the touch. And I'm going to do everything I possibly can with Squishy um, just to keep minimi minimizing the, uh, the amount of push marks. So I think where I'm going to start is right up here and just run this line down. I know I've got some weird little pushies up here that look funky but I have to get the tension out of that metal down here to be able to bring up this line all the way through. And it's a slow process, guys. This line, I'm just babying it, just going down the line and giving it tiny little pushes all the way through. A lot of tension in this metal. But once we uh, get this line nice and flush, we're gonna have a lot easier time tapping down those little ridges and brows. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you guys in for a little bit and hopefully you guys are enjoying this dent. I am. It's a nice day and I'm out here doing what I love doing. So um, yeah, make sure you guys hit us up with a thumbs up and like the video, throw a positive comment down below. We always like to see the comments. And I think what I'm gonna do now is pull my board off the car we show the reels, is get really close to this with the board so I can see that little weird area and just see if I can move any of that metal right now. And my finger and my tool are right in the same spot. I'm just kind of going to manipulate that metal out. And uh, these are some pretty hard pushes I'm making right now, but I don't want to go nutso on it because we don't want to crack any paint and we don't want to make any push marks. So now I'm up here at the very top edge of that football, just sealing it up. And it looks like if you guys are watching everything with the, with the board and everything, you can see every push. Well, so can I, that's the whole point. Um, but once we get it to the point that it's flush and we can tap down those little tiny push marks and take the board off then it'll end up looking really nice without without uh, having those push marks and then we pull the board off and you can hardly even see anything so that's what we're going for I think we'll come back and show you the end result here in just a bit but what we're gonna do is keep at it same thing I've been doing tapping the brows down moving those lows out um, and getting this dent out I think it's coming out nice so we'll come back to you and show you the end result in just a bit. Okay guys, we're back. Um, this is uh, pretty much exactly what I promised the customer. Like I said, it's not gonna be 100% perfect. A Little bit of waves to it. Obviously the, uh, the damage in the paint is gonna stay. Uh, he, does have the touch-up paint uh, not here though or he's ordered it or something like that so um, usually if a customer has the touch-up paint there's a couple little tiny little scratches I'll always do what I can to uh, you know touch them up I have a steady hand and you know I can uh, use a little corner of the paintbrush that they usually provide and do that but I will let the customer do that on their own and um, I think we did pretty good. This was a real severe high brow. I even got back here and took out some of this part. 
Um, you saw we had it all torn apart and I've used the torch for a lot of the heat work. But the main goal was to get this out without breaking any paint, which we did. We recreated this body line and right down here at the end, I wouldn't say it's a definite body line right here. I mean, I'd say I kind of uh, stopped because when you get right down to the end and you make those pushes on this highly metallic paint, you have a real chance of fracturing the paint no matter how warm it is. So. Um, once again, we just did what we could, you know, I buffed out some, some scuffs, wifey went and uh, buffed the headlights, made them look nice. Um, yeah, and I think the customer got their value out of this one, and um, what we're going to do is just uh, do a couple for free now, because he's got a couple actual little dents. We'll just go around and take a couple of them out for free, but other than that, this is the big one of the day. So if you guys like what you see, you know, share us on your social medias, um, hit us up with a like, please, we sure appreciate that. And, uh, you know, uh, other than that, hey, I'll just say the thing. This has been PDR, and I'm out. Peace.